Hey there, and welcome back to another video. For this one, I'll be showing you guys how I like to fix the hands and faces issue with Leonardo AI Canvas 2.0. So if you weren't aware, Leonardo AI had a great Canvas 2.0 update. We can now fix the hands and faces problem relatively easily. I mean, it's still not a perfect process, but we're getting there, definitely. So if you see down here on the options to the side, just below the image dimensions, you now have an option called Render Density. Now, if you increase that density to the maximum, you'll see that the box shrinks right down. Once it's smaller, you can move it to wherever you want. And let's zoom in a bit and address the issue with these hands and face. As you can see, the hand doesn't look very realistic. It isn't really protruding properly. It honestly isn't just that great. So let's draw a quick little mask over this one and add the prompt male. Now thanks to this new render density, it allows a much greater resolution from the outcome image. So you're not relying on that massive box anymore, you can really simply just shrink it down. And by doing that, we're getting a lot more detail. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of fingers here and other fingers just behind the thumb. And we've got a great detailed outcome. As you can see, there is an extra finger there, but we can just skip that one. So it isn't that great yet, and we're still relying on AI hands, so there's definitely going to be a little bit of hit or miss um, coming using the software. But if you look at this one, it looks pretty good. We've got a bunch of fingers and a thumb, so that one is definitely more than accessible. And it actually looks like they're now holding on to something. Now as you can see, his face isn't exactly great on this image either. The eyes are just a little bit weird and messed up, and it isn't honestly that detailed enough. So again, we can just grab that mask tool, mask things a little bit here, use the render density option a little bit there, and we can change it from hand to face. Then, if we hit that generate button again, we can hopefully get a better resolution on that face. Oh, and by the way, this was generated with Dream Shaper version 7. And that's how we're being able to use the fine tune model right now. And would you look at that? Once the image generation is complete, we can see the new detail and resolution is absolutely incredible. But then we also have farther away faces which still don't seem about right. But as you can see, there is a ton of greater detail on the features within the face, mask, hands, and everything. It's not even worth editing since it's great out of the box. And that's really all there is to using Leonardo AI's new hand and face fix with the new render density option. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thank you again for watching and we'll definitely see you all in the next one.